What's up everybody? You always ask me, Guga, can you one day do a full tutorial on how you cook a steak? Today is that day. Usually we have B-rolls and beautiful shots of music and steaks being cooked, but I never really explain my method. And today you're gonna find out one of the reasons why my steak is better than most people. First things we need to go over is the tools that you're gonna be using. And my very first tool is the grill. Now the grill is important because I like to have two different zones. We have the cold zone and the hot zone. The second thing that you need is good tongues. I love these tongues so much that I actually made one myself. Another tool I like to use is a basting brush. I like to use this to baste steaks that does not have a lot of fat. If they have fat, there's almost no need for basting at all. Talking about cuts, I'll be grilling three today. One is a ribeye, the other one a New York strip, and a marinated skirt steak. Now here's the deal. If you put inside of the grill, will come out of the grill. With that being said, I'm gonna walk you through it. Not too much fanciness today. We're gonna have a little bit of fanciness. Come on, because this is Google, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm gonna show you and explain to you as best as I could my method. All right, so as you can see here, the most important part of grilling is your grill, okay? We're gonna start with the big boys first because they're thicker. This grill is super hot. Look, it's already smoking. Because it's smoking, if I put my steak here right now, it will burn. I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna quickly rotate it, it's on the other side, and put my steaks right there. I don't want any sizzling, even though it's sizzling a little bit because it's super hot, but I don't wanna put it on my grill grate and go tss. That means it's gonna burn. This is what I'm looking for right now. It looks great. Now, since these steaks are choice grade, I'm gonna be using a compound butter to baste them on top of them. There's not enough fat. For that, I'm gonna use a combination of a good quality butter together with my rub. All I do is mix a little bit on there and just like a compound butter, it produces an incredible flavor. Now this butter is ready for basting or even to use it as a compound butter. I mean, butter makes everything better, everybody. Come on now. Now it has been exactly about 30 seconds. That's good enough already. I'm going to rotate my grill grate. I am going to flip the steak back to this side. Now I started getting a little bit of char already because this thing is super hot. What I like to do is I just remove that char. I don't want any char right now because I'm looking for a golden brown steak. We don't want black, we want golden brown. See how it's already starting to smoke? That tells me that the other side is cooking a lot faster. So I will rotate again. I'm gonna clean the residual seasoning from the previous one. I am gonna put it right here. Starting to get a nice golden brown, which is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to do a quick basting right here. Just a little bit, everybody. This is what I'm looking for. Remember, we're looking for golden brown and avoiding as much as possible in the beginning to have any char. Char should be created towards the end. It will have a better flavor and it will look better too. This is what you want. Nice golden brown color. Get over here, Angel. You can see, this is our lunch, by the way starting to flare up too much now. I don't like it. I'm gonna spin my grate, leave it right there. Give it a second. If things starts getting a little bit out of hand, step back, let things cool down a little bit. Right now, I am not trying to cook the steak. I know it sounds weird, right? But I'm not cooking it. I'm trying to get a nice crust. I mean, let me show this to Angel. I mean, take a look at that, Angel. Is it sexy or what? Oh, it's sexy. He's hungry, everybody. It's breakfast time. Uh, excuse me, it's lunch time. <laughs> Who eats steak for breakfast, Guga? Okay, these steaks have a nice crust, but they are almost completely raw still inside. I'm gonna put them right here and let them chill. We all know butter makes everything better, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter just because I can. More butter, more butter. Mm -hmm. Previously, I only seasoned this steak with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, just so you know. Now with that Guga's rub, it's just gonna add additional flavor. You don't wanna season the steak before cooking with Guga's rub, because this rub has a little bit of sugar, and if you do so, it's just gonna burn. So it's either for basting or towards the end to add it to your steak. Now we're gonna grill this skirt steak. Now this skirt steak, on the other hand, is a completely different ball game. The marinade has sugar. It's pre-marinated from my brother Emilio. What's gonna happen is, they're gonna burn really quickly. And if I put it right here on this grill right now, it is blazing hot. Just listen. Woo. There you go, you already burned. <laughs> so what I wanna do is I wanna start it with a cold grate. Spin the grate and place it. Now what I love about this skirt steak right here is that I don't have to do anything. It's already ready for me, ready to go. I just gotta cook it to perfection. Now I'm gonna wait until I got a little bit of a crust, then I'll spin it once again and keep doing so every 30 seconds to make sure I don't burn the steak. So I'm just gonna flip this one. Look at how I already almost got a crust already. Look at that, see? 
Look at this one. It's marinated, everybody has sugar. Rotate, put them right back over here. Put them right back over here. Put them right back over here. I'm listening. Things are getting a little crazy. I don't want it to burn. Move it out of the fire. See, I'm putting a crust on these very quickly. You want to avoid that, everybody. These are the sugars. They're burning faster than the steak is cooking. So that's why we got to keep moving. Oh, we're going to be eating good today, boy. I'm already getting happy with this crust right here. I don't think I need anything else. I am happy with this crust. Final spin. Take it out of the fire. Look at this crust. Looks beautiful. I'm going to grab my other two steaks. One is going to go right there. The other one is going to go right there. And now I have full control to cook it in indirect heat which I'm looking for an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, the steaks are ready. Now we're gonna let them cook until they reach the temperature. And then we're gonna chop them up and eat because we're hungry. Okay, so of course, since the skirt steaks are way smaller, those are ready first. I'm gonna remove them. This is our lunch. We got our beautiful skirt steak over here, everybody. They just came off the grill. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and slice it right away. Don't let it rest, okay? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> can't even say it with a straight face. Yes, you have to let it rest. For a skirt steak like this, five minutes is good enough. Five minutes later. Now here's an important method about skirt steak. So you wanna slice it against the grain. I first go this way, and then you wanna cut them against the grain, like so. I mean, perfect medium rare. If it's not medium rare, it's not good, everybody. No, I'm just joking. You eat your steak however you want, okay? We like medium rare. Mm. Oh. Fire. As we are eating and enjoying our lunch, everybody, the neighbors started going, but we must respect the steak. So we gotta get it out right now. I'm gonna let them rest a little bit. Leo, instead of just filming, come grab one. You do not have to tell me twice, Guga. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. This is the good stuff right here. Oh, guys, you have no idea what you are missing. This is some good steak. If you never tried these marinated Korean steaks from my brother Emilio, just try it. You'll thank me later. These are let it rest for a little bit longer, eight minutes. Let's slice. Start back here, one motion. As soon as you begin, put your finger there, slice the rest, and it's ready. And just slice, slice, slice. Wow, Google, you, you're making it look so easy. I cook one steak a month, so I have a little experience. <laughs> one steak a month? One steak a month. Medium rare, everybody, that's the way we like it. If you like your steaks medium, everything is the same exact method. If you like your steaks well done, I am so sorry for you. You... Okay, let's try this. All right, let's go for it. Ready? Enough talking, cheers. Oh. God damn it. Not too much fancy editing. Let me know if you like this type of video, everybody. If you do, we'll do more. If you want to see how I cook burgers, because it's actually quite different as well, I would love to do it for you. We can't put this on the main channel because it's not as exciting as we like to make the videos, but maybe you enjoy it more. Let me know in the comments. Most importantly, the link for the rub will be on the description down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. I've been working on this rub for over two years, and it's finally ready for you guys to try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.